We're thankful to be joined now by Governor Greg Abbott of Texas, who joins us by phone from India. Governor Abbott, thank you so much for joining us. If the administration declares that it plans to federalize the National Guard of the state of Texas, your National Guard, what will be your response? Well, first, I'll be shocked. That would be a boneheaded move on his part, a total disaster. Uh, but for one, as you might imagine, we are prepared uh, in the event that that unlikely event does occur to, to make sure that we will be able to continue exactly what we've been doing over the past month, and that is uh, building these barriers, uh, and whether it be the Constantino wire or other uh, anti climate border barriers, whatever we've been building, the Biden administration. Just to remind you, in case you didn't know, Greg Abbott, he's a member of the WEF. He's one of the El Hefes. Klaus Schwab tells him what to do. The same way he operates and puppet controls the Canadian guy, Justin Trudeau, and the French uh, Emmanuel Macron, he does the same with Greg Abbott. All this playing out in front of you is a Hegelian dialectic. They're all actors. We are the spectators. We the plebs. <laughs> We're just watching one big show. That's why all this, this stupid vote, you go on to stand in line all day to vote. You're just wasting your time. Don't you have nothing better to do with your life? All this has already been planned. This is the orchestrated destruction of the Western world. Just sit back and watch it happen. Unless you're going to revolt, which you're not. Just, let's just, just keep watching. Uh, he is now trying to attack us because of it. Uh, and we will continue to do exactly what we're doing to expand our denial of illegal entry into the state of Texas. And what is he doing? He's bossing them, putting them on buses and shipping them over to blue states, to Democrat states. Why would you do that? You just, you're not solving the problem. You're just spreading the problems to other American uh, uh, states. Why are you doing that? What does that cause? Further disruption. Further chaos. You're not trying to prove a point. You're doing what you've been told to do. When they come in, you want to ship them and send them back to where they're coming from. That makes more sense than shipping them and sending them to other American states. And the lunatic right, the loon right, people on the right, the conservatives, or some of them, are, you know, giving them accolades, hailing them for doing that. That's stupid. Why would you do that? It looks good on the surface, but it doesn't solve any problem. It just makes things worse. He is their man, man. He is their man. He belongs to them. He's, he's, not, he's not for you. He's not a superhero that's going to come and save the day. No. The only thing I can say for America right now is to start afresh. Kick everyone out of there and start afresh. It, that, with state employees, I assume, not with National Guard. But w w can you envision a scenario in which you would put armed state employees on the border instead of the National Guard of Texas? We, we do have other armed state employees uh, on the border as we speak right this minute. And uh, that's the Texas Department of Public Safety, as well as other law enforcement officers, as well as National Guard from other states. And you can be assured there will be more National Guard from other states and more law enforcement officers within the state of Texas. Well, now under Governor Abbott's emergency declaration, the Texas National Guard has seized control of this park and some surrounding land along the river, this put up mess. fencing and razor wire, and kicked out federal Border Patrol agents, arguing that it's the Biden administration that has perpetuated illegal crossings so Texas is going to control this land from here on out. Our crews have seen what appears to be Texas National Guard blocking Border Patrol agents from key areas of the operation here. And senior Border Patrol agents confirmed to Fox News that BP has pulled resources to avoid a confrontation. He's now live. He's in Times Square tonight at the scene of Saturday night's brutal beating of New York City police officers by a group of illegal immigrants and former New York City mayor. See what when, uh, Trump said, they're not sending us their best. <laughs> this is exactly what he was talking about. They're, they're definitely not sending us their best. Because imagine if you're a well-educated, well-mannered person that's living pretty well in your country. You're going to be in your country living La Vida Loca. Where well, you are going to risk your life in the desert, passing through the Mediterranean Sea to try and seek a better life somewhere else if you already have living a better life where you are? So the doctors, the lawyers, all these engineers, these people with uh, high moral standards, a lot of them are not coming here through the illegal channels. A lot of them have enough money to do it the right way. So most of these people, I'll say 90% of these people are desperate people. A lot of them are not like well-mannered individuals. I'll just put it that way. So what do you think is going to happen when they come over here and they cannot assimilate because the culture shock? What do you think is going to happen? America, the Western world in general don't know what's coming. 
You don't know what's coming. You've been insulated and isolated from how the world really works all your life. And now the world is coming to you. It's going to be so bad, man. It hasn't even started yet. Earl candidate, Curtis Sliwa. You saw the video evidence. They gave a horrific beatdown to two police officers. This all started when our mayor, Eric Adams, swagger man with no plan, invited the illegal aliens in, put them up in all the hotels in Times Square where they remain. $400 a night, and now they form gangs. And so when the police try to move them on from basically jostling and hassling and pickpocketing people and going into stores and shoplifting, they now resist, they form gangs. I'm here with the guardian angels. We're saying enough of this. If the government isn't gonna do it in Washington and the mayor in New York City is not gonna deal with these illegal aliens who form gangs, then we, the guardian angels, will deal with them. Americans must stand up to this madness. And imagine, we're gonna have to protect the cops too. How ridiculous is that, Sean? Just into Fox News now, NYPD making two more arrests, illegal immigrants, and that attack on officers. Those suspects also allegedly stole an officer's cell phone. Well, that'll help them track you down. So a fifth illegal immigrant accused of attacking two New York City police officers over the weekend showed no remorse or regret. He was seen, as you can see, giving his two middle fingers to the cameras moments after being released without bail. Florida Senator Marco Rubio wrote... Message to a man. Back in the day, and when I say back in the days, it's a couple of years ago. It's, it's not like some decades back, even even decades back, until recently. Y'all had had illegal immigrants, but they were more secretive about how they moved. They work under the table. They do some cash and hand work and all that stuff. They're more subtle. But this breed they're bringing out now, with this entitlement mentality, going around beating up police officers. This is a whole different level, man, because these people have been encouraged to come. They give them a big, long orientation of how to walk, move around when they come here. They, have, they give them IDs and stuff. They fly on planes. These people, have, they've been weaponized. Wow. America from one of the illegal immigrants who assaulted NYPD officers, walked free with no bail and heads back to a shelter funded by taxpayers. So far, police have uh, shared four mugshots. If a citizen does that, beats a police officer, I bet you he's not gonna go, he's gonna regret that decision, man. What? But these people, man, whew, they just do whatever they want. How are you caring for non-citizens than your own citizens it's like taking care of outside kids more than your own kids wow when you understand the direction they're leading the western countries the western world then all this don't surprise you anymore i know where they're leading the western world because i was obsessed with reading about all this a couple of years ago so next 20 30 years i already when you know because they write all this down. They tell you, arrogantly, the direction they're leading the world to. So none of this surprises me anymore. But still, I'm like, whoa, beating police officers? So far, police have uh, shared four mugshots of the now seven people arrested in connection with the brutal beatings in Times Square. Why aren't they in jail right now? They brutally attacked a New York City police officer and a lieutenant. Our criminal justice system is upside down. It fails every day. In response to the police searching for additional suspects in the Times Square attack on police. Get them all and send them back. Don't, don't touch our police Don't touch anything. Those who are breaking our laws, oh, uh, we need to re-examine uh, the laws that don't allow us uh, to deport them. But you started it. You made your state a sanctuary state. Now it's a hellhole. What are you talking about? Um, but some have already flown the cope. New York Post reporting police believe four of the criminals have already hopped on a bus to California. Another nanny state, another um, sanctuary state, of course. And this is what they're going to do. They're going to commit crimes in groups because they know how to get away with it. What states and where to go to avoid being arrested. That's what they did. They, they're not stupid. They allegedly gave fake names to a nonprofit that helps migrants get out of the city. Popped up at the Delta Terminal, the Miami airport. Instructions for illegals to use their CBP-1 app, that's the Customs Border Patrol app at TSA checkpoints, 
as a valid form of ID to board a plane in the United States. For those who don't know, the CBP-1 app provides appointments for migrants who are claiming asylum at the border. Migrants, particularly those wanted for crimes, can fill in any basic information they want in the app and be let into the country. The goal is to, and I quote, validate adult non-U.S. citizen travel documentation when the traveler does not otherwise have an acceptable form of identification. Military-aged men. Military-aged men. Your country, your entire country, is being, like, invaded purposefully by grown-ass military-aged men. And a lot of them are coming from cultures where they don't really respect females like that. And you have all this modern, independent women I don't need no man walking around like a, like a peacock strutting about the place. Now you need a man. Because it's dangerous out there. To your fellow countrymen, it doesn't matter if he's Asian, white, black, whatever. Someone, it doesn't matter. Stick to your countrymen right now because the walls are out there, man. Girls, you better be careful. Like, seriously. Isn't the strong and independent don't need no man? Relax. The third world is here. The third world is here. There's no feminist in the third world. There's no feminist in the war zone. The war zone is here. <laughs> it's like Call of Duty out there, man. Keep playing. However, it also notes that photos are optional. It says that multiple times. It says they can provide biographical information if requested, but notes that information is not stored, again, multiple times. How is this even serious? Illegals coming to the United States from countries that are designated state sponsors of terror and on terror watch lists can use this process. Americans, think about this for a moment. We, as Americans, are going to be forced to acquire a real ID by May of 2025, or you, or anybody else here, myself, we barred. Most importantly, if you have an extra room or suite in your home, <laughs> please consider hosting a family. Look at this, <laughs> Look at this clown. <laughs> Massachusetts tell residents to open up their homes for illegal migrants. <laughs> In their clear mind, it's going to house a bunch of military aged men. You have to be a, <laughs> a certain type of idiot, a certain type of fool to do that. What? The Stockholm Syndrome is that much? Like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> are they serious these people are out of touch man you're seriously asking residents to open their homes to house <laughs> people you have no idea who they are would you open the door and just let the homeless person off the streets to come leave with you or even any random person on the street come in come and leave with me use all my facilities in the house it's like you use it however you want in my miss me casa su casa <laughs> Safe housing and shelter is our most pressing need. Become a sponsored family. You can contact the Brazilian Workers Center for more information on how you can step up if you're willing to have an additional family be part of your People family. dumb. If you're a local official, a college president, a business owner, or a faith leader with an available building or space in your community, please work with us to offer it as a shelter site. If you're a social service provider, sir, about the volume, by the way. Emergency assistance, homeless shelter. Go up and down. Partner, our resources are stretched thin there as well. And if you're a hotel or a motel owner, consider opening it up for emergency assistance. If you're a landlord or a property owner, we can use you too. We can connect you with service providers to help transition families into permanent housing. Everyone has something they can offer. Oh, but now they was told that they cannot go to the school because of lack of funding. And a lot of schools closed because of lack of funding. And how do you think those children feel now that they're driving past or walking past the schools? This is Chicago, New York, California, Texas, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Not just America, the, U the UK, the European countries, Ireland. It's everywhere. This is by design. That they were rejected from, now migrants are living in. This should not be on the backs of the people here and draining our resources. I see a lot of wasted money because there's no structure. You've never had a time where Southsiders, Westsiders, and now Northsiders have come together to unite under one issue. Yeah, this, this building behind me is called Near South Health Clinic. This is a clinic where the unfortunate people that did not have insurance, could not afford, you know, good insurance, they went here. This was a free clinic for this community. The community that I'm in now is called Bronzeville, and uh, it's closed. So the seniors that could not make it over to the Cook County Hospital 
four miles away. They went to this clinic. Now it was closed. Now migrants are there. So wow. our parks, our schools, our clinics, and police stations have all become wow. shelters. Meanwhile, Black people are still caping for this, Democrats. Are you serious? Are we that stupid as a people? <laughs> Sometimes I just look at black people. I just, I just shake my head, man. What's Joe Biden doing on stage in the church? Separation of church and state. Isn't that what the founding fathers, isn't that, isn't that in the Constitution? Now, there's no difference now. Politics and, and church is the same thing. Bill Clinton went on a senior hall and played the saxophone and all black people were like, oh, 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 oh. he plays jazz, he loves jazz music. Oh, we're going to vote for him. <laughs> and why do you think Hillary Clinton got so bold to go on the breakfast club and says, they were asking her how she's going to get the black vote. She's talking about she's got hot sauce in her bag. <laughs> Look at the disrespect. And you have this one, this little scarecrow here that doesn't even know what planet he's on. I'm sure he's got a diaper on right now. He's sitting, he's standing there, and everyone is adorning him with praise. Black people, what is what? 